we are back in the game room with the badass posters. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and welcome to our game room that has a lot better lighting than my bedroom does. Typically where I make my videos is in my room because I've got my little dog water camera and stuff, but I wanted to use my iPhone instead for this video because we're gonna do a bit of a Yu-Gi-Oh! story time, and I'm gonna do my best to swap hands as much as I can because as you can see, my hand is shaking because it's it's actually really tough to hold an iPhone sideways like this without using a web cam, a webcam, without using a tripod or anything like that. So that's gonna be something that we're investing in. But happy one day before Easter and happy day of Easter if you're watching this on the day of Easter. We're gonna be talking about some Yu-Gi-Oh stories because believe it or not, I actually had an opponent who got arrested. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you smash, Colossal Titan smash rather, that subscribe button and the bell and the like button and all that other stuff that YouTube wants me to tell you to do so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. So in case you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively since 2008. I went to my first local tournament here in Jacksonville, Florida in 2008. Shout out to Dan's Sports Cards and Games, holding it down since way back in the day. And I have been to multiple regionals, multiple YCSs with so many stories. Um, and we are gonna be going through some of those. And if you like hearing these stories, be sure to tell me that in the comment section and also with a like, because I would like to tell some of these stories. I think that a lot of people would get a kick out of them. So let's start off with some things that are more recent and then we'll kind of go through to the arrested story. <laughs> so uh, let's start off with what is more recent from about 2018. And of course my dad was playing Mystic Mind Burn and uh, he was going against a guy at this Kissimmee Orlando Regional where we typically go for regional and he must have been on drugs because this dude was an asshole and was like, oh, you you can't do that. You 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 gotta read this card, you gotta do this, and, da, da, da. and it's like, bro, like you're you're that hyped up because you're on drugs and you don't want to lose the mystic mind. So much so that a judge actually was watching our was watching my dad and this guy's duel, and he was like, calm down, it's just a game, relax. My dad ended up unfortunately losing to this guy, but at the end, even he was like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm such an asshole. I, I just really want to get my invite. This dude was just <laughs> like, just take the weirdest, craziest drug induced Yu-Gi-Oh player you've ever met times that by a hundred. And that's what this crazy dude is like. Like this dude was off his fucking meds. This dude was nuts. And I told my dad, I'm like, I wouldn't even have played him. I would have called over a judge. Um, because clearly there was something wrong with this guy. Second story I have for you actually comes from YCS Atlanta, and I believe it was 2014. Um, I was playing against this guy, and he was obviously playing a meta deck, and uh, I was playing Chainburn because, you know, we're a degenerate like that. Sometimes we like to play Chainburn at big events. I don't remember why I was playing Chainburn, honestly. Um, I would have to go back and look at my old deck profiles from years ago because we've been posting videos on and off on the channel for 11 years now, surprisingly. And I remember as a joke for a long time on this channel, I called him Mr. Salty Bitch because it was round four of YCS Atlanta and he got so salty. And uh, we used to call him Mr. Salty Bitch on the channel because he was just a salty little bitch. So. As I said, he was playing a meta deck, I was playing Chainburn, and we were in like game two or something. I think he got game one, and he was gonna beat me game two. And even before the match started, some guy had walked by and told him, hey, this this guy's playing Chainburn. And he's like, oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> and so at one point in the game, he's like shuffling his hand, and he just puts on this shit-eating shit -eating grin and just goes, come on, Chainburn. Like in the most Southern Georgia accent that you could possibly think of, and I'm like, Okay, bet, we're gonna play this shit. And so something happened game one, I really don't remember because it was so long ago, but then I remember that it was like either game two or game three. And I had done something like played multiple reckless greeds and he was trying to cheat me and say, well, you lose multiple draw phase because you play multiple reckless greeds. For those of you who don't know, something that a lot of people used to do back in the day was if you activated three reckless greeds, people tried to say, okay, you lose six draw phases. No, you lose two. Even if like one turn goes by and you play another Reckless, it just goes up to two. It doesn't stack up to six. And people knew this. They just wanted the free win. They wanted to cheat people because, you know, even back then people were trying to cheat. So uh, 
he gets all pissed because he asked for a response on something. And all I did was flip up my face downs, was asking what was in his grave, thinking about how I wanted to do my chains. He goes, oh, you're stalling. You're stalling. You're trying to stall me. I got cheated last round. I'm not getting cheated this round. I'm like, you literally just asked me for a response and I'm checking my back. He goes, judge. Calls the judge over all pissed off and whatever. The guy says, what's the problem? So my Mr. Salty Bitches, we're going to call him, tells uh, the judge what happens. And I explain, look, I'm just checking my background, checking my grave. You know, I'm not trying to cheat this guy. Well, when in doubt, whenever something like, like this happens, hope that you get a draw and not a loss because draws are strictly better in the long run than losses. The judge clearly did not want to deal with this. And the judge just said, forget it. It's a draw. And so I'm like, okay. And I was fine with that because I knew I was going to get my ass kicked. And this guy gets so pissed and he goes, no, I got cheated again. And it was the funniest thing ever. He was super quiet after that, super pissed off. And it was, it was delicious. It was delicious. I was going to lose and I got a draw. And I really wasn't trying to cheat this guy. He was just pissed off. He wanted to rule sharp me and cheat and be a Mr. Salty Bitch. And um, Mr. Salty Bitch ended up getting a draw. So yeah, it, it was delicious. Finally, for the last story, it is, as the title says, my opponent got arrested. And I'm still not used to holding this phone with even one hand, let alone two. I need to get a tripod. But anyways, anyways, um, if you're liking this video so far, be sure to uh, like it and uh, share it around because these these are some stories that we haven't really told a whole lot of people. So anyways, uh, my opponent got arrested. YCS Orlando 2010. I was playing uh, Six Samurai. It was the best deck at the time. And my opponent was also playing Six Samurai. It was a mirror match. The best decks at the time were great keeper in Six Samurai in order to set the stage for you. This was YCS Orlando at the... Uh, Gaylord Palms Convention Center. And so it's a six Samurai mirror match. And the key cards in that deck at the time were legendary six Samurai Kizan, uh, Kagamusha, and Kageki. I go to summon Kageki and get out my Kagamusha. And I think he had like two chain disappearance set. So he uses chain disappearance on my Kageki and my Kagamusha. I lose all three of my copies of Kageki and Kagamusha. And I go to, I think like on the next turn or something, summoning, I end up summoning legendary six Samurai Kizan. He does something to it to where I lose all my copies. It was another like type of chain disappearance card, but for higher attack monsters. And I mean, I'm, I'm losing this game. I have no Kizan, no Kageki, no Kagamusha. I mean, that's pretty much your whole monster lineup back then. So I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna lose this game. So I'm thinking about what play I wanna make. And all of a sudden about five, six, seven cops surround our table. And this was in 2010, I was born in 1996. I'm like 13, 14 years old. So I put my hands up like I'm under arrest and the cops end up telling my opponent, you need to come with us, we need to talk to you. And irritated, he looks up at them and he's like, can I finish this game first? And they're like, no, now. And he's like, oh, like the typical, like, oh, idiots, like sound. He's just, oh. And so he picks up his stuff and he walks away. One, uh, one cop stays behind. And then one of the judges looked at me. And at this point, my dad has walked over and asked, what's going on? I'm like, what just happened? And the cop says, you won. And still with my hands up, I'm like, how? <laughs> And so the judge um, ends up saying, that, well, there were some infractions. Um, so then he ends up signing the paper and says infractions, uh, yeah. And put that the guy had dropped and that I got the free win. And it was funny afterwards, cause even the cops were talking to my dad later and said, yeah, is that your son point over there? My dad's like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, sorry, we can't step in on this one. <laughs> and uh, it was just crazy though, because as I walked out later on during the day, I see that same guy talking to the cops and he's making hand motions, like he's all pissed off. And so probably what it was, was that he got accused of stealing cards and they were gonna like put him under arrest or something. So my guess is probably what happened was that he probably went off to jail and Konami banned him from all future events. Um, and it, I don't know what it is, but I wish that that could have happened nine rounds in a row so I could come in first place at like a regional or something, but never seen my opponent get hauled off with the, uh, with the police or get arrested or anything like that. That was really crazy, especially at 14. Like I was scared, like, did I do something wrong? Am I in trouble? What's going on? So now I look back on it, I'm like, that's really funny. I wish that I could get more free wins. So guys, please let me know what you think about these stories in the comments below. Do you wanna hear more about these? I mean, I've got plenty, plenty more stories. I got stories from seeing a couple make out, look like they're about to do it doggy style on the sidewalk at a convention center, drug deals going on, people getting into fights. I mean, it, it's, it's wild. So guys, please let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.